Hello folks, welcome. It is, it is the 4th of November and uh, I'm just here in the studio and uh, I wanted to talk about the real importance of getting a decent cut-off wire for your pot. Uh, many, of the, many of your commercial toolkits will supply you uh, various lengths of a sort of twisted wire of some description, although it seems to be sort of fused together. Um, some give you a really long one like this. This one is like two feet long, and the toggles, the toggles that they use on the end are far too big. Okay? You really do not want to use a wire like this on your wheel. They are the biggest pain. And you all know you've got to twist them round your fingers like this to be able to use them and then they're wires, they kink and they're not very very good at all. So I wanted to show you how to make a, de a decent nylon twisted wire with a, a, a wooden toggle, a dowel toggle on one end, a 3 8 dowel and on the other end uh, a piece of fired Bisque fired clay I use because it's 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 nice and heavy, and you want the heaviness of one toggle on one end. It helps keep the it helps keep the uh, your wire uh, located in your wheel tray, not on the floor. So you see, one end being heavier, it allows it always always to stay there, okay? You really want your, your cut-off wire, okay, always to be here on the left side of your wheel. You don't want your cut-off wire to be over there somewhere and mixed in with your other tools, okay? You want to keep your cut-off wire here on the left. The nice thing about a nylon cut-off wire, it does just hang nicely over the side, okay? I'm going to do, I'm going to give you the ingredients. I'm showing you the ingredients here and I'll, I'll tell you how to do it. I'm not going to actually put the thing together in front of you because they're a fiddle. They're a fiddle to do and the clip might take me 15 minutes just to do it, you know, because it's just a hassle sometimes. Trying to make, trying to make these things is a bit of a hassle. But I'm just going to show you anyway how I go about it and you, you'll just have to have a go yourself and you'll, you'll see what I mean. That's why I'm not actually making the whole thing into a clip. Uh, what you're going to need is um, some, some nylon and I use fishing nylon, okay? And this is about 8 kilogram breaking strain, 8 kilogram breaking strain. I don't know, I got this in Spain when I lived there and I don't know what 8 kilograms is exactly in, in uh, pounds but you probably, 1 kilogram is 2.2 pounds so you can work it out. <laughs> probably something like 18 or 19 or 20 pound breaking strain. Okay, so you're going to need that, you're going to need a ruler, you're going to need, uh, you're going to need some toggles. So, make yourself a fired toggle, uh, this one's about an inch long, okay, with a little wasted bit in the middle so you can tie your, um, tie your nylon around. I've got a here 3 8 hardwood dowel, again with a, a groove in the, in the middle here which I just against the, the corner edge of the, the grinding, my grindstone, my bench grinder, I just created a, a groove there in the middle. I found that that works the best and is the quickest. And if you've got a decent wheel on your, on your bench grinder that's got a nice corner on it, you'll find that you can just re revolve this like this and it'll make a nice little groove. Okay, so what you're going to need to do <coughs> You've got to bear in mind that the your the, the fine the final length of your cutoff wire wants to be about um, 12 inches. 
So you're going to need twice that, aren't you? At least, because when you twist it, it becomes shorter, doesn't it? So we're going to need, we're probably going to need here twice, tw twice 12 is 24. Plus we're going to have to allow another couple of inches because of shrinkage, because of the twisting. So that's 24, so call it uh, 20, another couple of inches, 26. Uh, sorry, what am I talking about? Uh, yeah, another couple of inches, so 24, 26. Plus you're going to need a bit extra on the end. So you're going to need about 32 inches, okay? So what you want to do is measure, measure off, measure off, uh, uh, yeah, that's about there. Okay, so you, you've got your your 32 inches here. What you want to do then is, is find the middle, so join the ends together like that and then pull it and you'll find the middle here. Once you've got the middle you want to take your wooden toggle and put that there like that. What we're going to do is we're going to, and this is where it becomes a bit of a fiddle. And you know what, I, I have sort of partial success in making these, I'll be honest with you, because sometimes they don't kind of work out as, I, as I'm expecting them to. So there uh, you can see I have the the ends should be together, yeah, okay. So so that's how, that's your first move, alright? You're gonna you're gonna get the toggle tied in the middle there. And this is where I'm not gonna do this all in front of you because it's a bit of a bit of a fiasco sometimes, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But what you've got to do is you've got to put a lump of clay here in the middle of your wheel, okay? Take your take your toggle your toggle, your wooden toggle, and put it there in the middle. Pinch the clay a bit around it, okay? Because what you're going to do now is, you're going to hold these two ends like this, you see? Sort of slightly, slightly apart. And, and you're going to revolve the wire around. You see what I'm doing? I'm twisting the wire now. It's twisting. When I, when I first started doing these, fairly recently, I thought, well, probably what's going to happen is the wire's just going to come unraveled immediately. But I found that if when I get to the top here, when I've, I've got to the length that I want, I found that, it, that if I knotted it immediately right at the top here, I found that it, it did come undone a little bit, but it, it, it stayed, you know, it stayed for the most part. And I was sort of surprised that it did that, but I was pleased. And it did, and it, and it works, you see. So now you see, I've got this wire, this twisted nylon, and this is where, this is where it gets a bit tricky. <laughs> all I can say is have a go, all right? Have a go at doing it. They, these wires, sometimes they work and sometimes they don't, to be quite honest with you. And um, so what I've got to do now is knot this wire at the end before this comes undone. So you want to keep it taut, you see. Keeping it taut while you do it. Now. Now I'm going to take my other toggle, my other ceramic toggle here, choose a good one, 
Because what I've got to do now is is tie this around the the toggle at the top end here. It's a fiddle, I tell you. <laughs> it's a fiddle. You need to knot it at least a, a few times, you know, because you know what nylon's like it. Now I'm not a fisherman, but Probably there's a special knot that you can use. Those of you who fish out there, you would know what it is to stop the nylon coming undone. I don't know what it is, but... Okay, so I've tied him around there, so what I'm going to do is... Just, just tidy up the loose ends here. Don't cut them right back tight, okay? I give them like half an inch, give them half an inch. Well that's not, that's not too bad actually. This one is turned out to be just over about 11 and a half inches in length, which is absolutely fine, that's spot on. Um, Let me just get a bit more clay here. I haven't got any water here on this wheel to show this to you. I'll just, just zoom, zoom the camera in and see, see what sort of... Uh, da, 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 da. There he is. I'm just going to test this on a lump of clay, you see, you can... So you can, you can see there, it'll give you a nice spiral like that. Now of course, the tighter, the tighter you weave this, the tighter you weave the, the twist, the the, the closer together, the closer together will the lines be, you know. Another thing about this kind of wire is you want to, you see, I don't usually cut off like that. I always have the wheel, always have the wheel spinning. So you always want to cut off with the wheel going around slowly when you cut your pot off, okay? And then just go through like that. And it will give you a nice, a nice uh, shell like, like you can see here. Um, but there is, apart from, oops, apart from the Apart from the shell-like pattern that you'll get on the bottom of your pots, there is actually a good reason to use a twisted cutoff wire, and that is it does introduce more air under your pot, which makes your pot easier to lift off. So that you know when you've when you've made your pot, you've cleaned the outside of your pot, you know, with your throwing stick, like I've showed you about 150,000 times. <laughs> so you clean the outside of your pot with your throwing stick, you've got your bevel in underneath your undercut, you're now going to cut it off, okay, and with clean hands, you, you're going you're to find it 
relatively easy to lift that pot off the wheel. It's going to be even better for you though if you use a, a twisted cutoff wire because you've introduced some some water under sorry air into the underneath the pot you see with the, with the twists these twists here they they are undulations aren't they and they introduce air as you cut through and that makes it e easier for you to lift the pot off the wheel <laughs> anyway that's how you, that's how I make these as I say have a go you'll have some success and uh, I was going to put these up on the website, I was going to make some and sell them. To be quite honest with you, I just don't know whether it's, it's really, they're a fiddle to make, you see. And I don't know if I, if I get everybody wanting one, then I'm going to be like having to spend days just doing this. Which I don't really want to do, you know, to be honest. I'd rather get on and make pots, but, uh, so I'm, I'm passing it on to you. I found that this has worked for me. You may find that it does unravel a little bit. Don't worry about that. Twist it, twist it tight and then knot it at the top end here. And you'll find that it will unravel a bit, but you'll find that it will keep quite a lot of the twists in it, like these have done. And these work actually fine. Okay folks, I hope that's I hope that's of some some help to you. And uh, have a go, let me know how you, how you get on. And I think you'll find a twisted, a twisted wire. Now you can use stainless steel if you've got a fine stainless steel. The problem with stainless steel is it can break, you know, and then it, it, one, of the, one of the twists will break and you get a sharp, like a needle, and it goes into your finger and you go, ow! <laughs> That's happened to me, <laughs> I can tell you. So the nylon, the nylon you see, is nice and user friendly because you see how bendy it is. It's nice for just hanging over the side of your wheel. It's very neat and tidy. It doesn't fall about the place. It just, it's very inconspicuous. And it's lovely, you know, with the weighted toggle. Back it goes. Okay, folks, thanks for joining us. Uh, visit my website, simonleachpottery.com. I'm going to be this coming weekend at Montoursville near Williamsport. Hands-on workshop. They may have some free spaces. If you're interested, write to me and I'll send you a flyer about that and who's contact. After that, I've got a workshop here, which may well be the last one this year in my studio here in Milheim, central Pennsylvania. Um, yeah, it's going to be a keep practicing workshop as usual. And uh, we can take five or six people. So if that interests you, come along and join us. <laughs> While well, the roads are still passable. <laughs> yeah. Okay, folks. Well, thanks a lot. And don't forget, keep practicing. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.